Hi everyone, um, those of you who follow me know that I have an Ask Nat column in my newsletter Awakening Spirit, the link's below, um, and so every month um, members of the public are welcome to send me a question or, or more than one question if they want to and um, I answer it. So um, so far I've been doing it in the written form in my newsletter but this month I really was inspired and guided to make a video. So um, those of you who are interested, the um, link to asking me a question is under the video. Um, and I also want to let you know that I have a new service. Um, I've been doing angel readings for a while in different forms, email, Skype or in person. Um, but I'm now introducing a YouTube video reading option, which is actually a private video, so it's not for the public to see as this one where I will make a video for the client in much in the style as this video and also my monthly YouTube readings um, so that you could see how the guidance is coming through through the cards and I just thought it's such a visual and powerful experience of really seeing how divine communication works so that's why I'm now offering this as a service so um, for that service you will get um, the video link sent to you and it will be set to private so that only you can see it um, so the details for my services are also under the video okay so the lucky um, person to get a reading for this month is Lisa so also just a side note anyone who sends me an ask Nat uh, question only your first name will be given um, to the public and if you'd like a um, secret name you can make up a, another name if you want to for your own privacy and um, to be confidential that's completely fine with me as well so long as you tell me what your name is so I can tune into your energy and you mention really clearly that you'd like a pseudonym to be used then that's fine okay so Lisa's question for this month is my my question is I am having the worst luck finding a permanent job. Okay, so first of all, it's only the first sentence, and I'm straight away thinking, Lisa, um, that in when you say worst luck, I'm just feeling just this awful like um, sense of you know doom and, and oh, I've had such bad luck and why does this keep happening to me and I really understand where you're coming from because a lot of us have, have had experiences when we feel like this um, but the greater wisdom to learn in this is to be careful how you word things um, to yourself and to others uh, mostly to yourself um, if you're saying oh, I have the worst luck I'm so unlucky all the time um, then that's what the universe is going to keep giving to you. So um, the first tip I want to give you, as annoying as it might be um, to some people out there hearing this, I understand, trust me. Um, but um, the first tip I want to say is just please watch um, what you are saying, um, the words you are using and what you believe. I want you right now to cut a cord with that. So I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to come through, please, for Lisa and cut the cords. Um, with her connection to feeling like she doesn't deserve, to feeling like um, she doesn't have um, luck and that these uh, miserable things keep happening. So we're going to cut cords with that now and I want you to visualize it as a big giant boulder being moved. So I have this crystal cluster here. So imagine that as being your thoughts about your luck and misfortunes and we're going to just dump it away. Oh, it's so much lighter now, isn't it? Okay, so funnily enough, I have this um, beautiful box here, which is my box of, I put affirmations in, and I pulled out an affirmation for you, and this is what I got. It says, hang on, I'm just redirecting the camera. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. Whenever I need anything, I know that it will be provided. See how I say this with so much gumption and expression? Um, so this is about really feeling it to be true, even if so far um, things in your life haven't have shown you the opposite. This is the space that I want to now redirect you into, is to feeling it with that vibration. And if you have to listen to this video and to those words like a million times to get there, then then so be it. Um, but whatever it takes. Okay, so the first two cards that come through here... Um, I think it would be better if I put the camera down. There we go. Okay, so first of all, we have spiritual strength here as the card. Um, so what it is saying to me, what I'm feeling from this, oh, I didn't read the last 
sentence of your question, which is, why am I having such bad misfortune? See that word again? Oh my gosh, the, the vibration is so low with that. So um, it's time to lift those vibrations through your words. And will I begin working soon to support my family? And when you say that word support, okay, this is the empathic, clairsentient uh, part of me. Uh, so when I give intuitive readings, I will feel things. Oh, my heart just feels so heavy and painful and and I feel that sadness and that sense of having to support your family and the pressure and the feeling of that. And that comes through so um, poignantly in this first card here. See this sense of having to support all this weight and the pressure that that takes um, internally, physically, emotionally, mentally, in every aspect of your life. Um, so this card is saying to go inwards and facilitate a sense of inner strength inside yourself and muster it and pull that through so that you can then turn it around into a sense of power and empowerment and that you can also um, spread that to your family who you're wanting to support. Also know that you are spiritually supported and right now teams of angels are around you. I'm sending them and anyone can do this. So everyone watching, please send light to Lisa right now and fill her with affirmations of abundance and believing in herself and feeling um, supported herself as well. So, um, so you have a uh, people all around the world doing this for you now Lisa. Okay so the next card is patience and this is obviously saying please be patient okay we have the seed there which will be um, brewing into into a flower but I'm seeing this flower as being quite grey and shouted and this to me is your thought forms here so your thought forms around your energy are your negative thought forms about uh, uh, money and deserving and, and all the negative um, thoughts that you have and doubt and see oh just they're so grey they're like a big grey smoggy cloud so I'm asking the angels to come through and clear that for you now and asking you to meditate and do some energy work to clear um, those uh, the negative belief systems and if you need help with that just send me a note okay um, and there's green healing energy here for you okay around not only just um, for you generally but also in terms of, of how you view things and how you view your abundance and so on okay so the next card um, okay I've got three in a row here so um, Okay, there's a lot of senses of um, you know, like the animals in motion, like um, moving forward. So you will be coming to a time where you are moving forward in your life. The first card here, it says great sadness. And then in this card, I really feel the sadness of your situation and you and how you're feeling and also... Um, you know, you're with your family, so if you're a mother, um, which is the feeling of it here, just sort of wanting to protect your family, but I'm feeling you also needing support and protection as well, like you're doing it all on your own, or I'm just feeling this great sense of that, or you've got so much on your plate, uh, that feeling like in the um, strength, spiritual strength, strength card. So this is about time to heal and going back to yourself, um, your inner self, forgiving yourself. So I'm feeling tears with that. So I'm connecting to an emotional part of yourself now. So the need to forgive yourself first, like that's just so strong to me right now. And then from there, other people as well. And it's okay. Know that it's okay. I really feel like nurturing you right now with this. Um, you might have been feeling that you've had too much work and you do need to accept help from others. So um, anything that anyone can help you with, please accept that help. So learn to receive. You give out so much to your family. So it's about that balance now and also being able to receive help from others and the universe. So I uh, just really want you to spend some time think reflecting on those words of how meaningful that is to you in your life because life sometimes feels out of balance which I feel that you're at a discord right now and um, the stress will bring on health concerns so think about that and I'm feeling around the throat area as well so any health concerns that you might have but also just knowing that living in that space of negative thinking can ha does have the power to create health um, concerns so um, so keep that in your mind too um, so anything that might need immediate attention 
um, time can be of the essence so go for it if you need to do something do an action just go for it that's what I'm feeling through this card here but also just make sure that you think through um, things very carefully as well okay so this card here is saying um, so let's all turn that around now we've talked about you know the difficult part so let's look at the positives now so I want to say don't give up um, okay, don't give up, and I'll come back to that card later. Actually, this is about believing in yourself, having courage in yourself, and that will bring you um, the power to move forward. So, let's turn it around now. There's going to be times when you have brilliant new ideas, inspirations, you will see the truth for what it is, and remember that when negative things happen, such as um, losing a job or not being able to find uh, the work that you want. In the end, you'll see later how much a blessing that was, and it was, it's a shift. I feel a great shift with you. It's almost like you have all this luggage, and you're shifting this heavy luggage from one spot to another, and the other feels much more lighter. So whether you have actually have a had a physical move in your life, uh, in your home or work, uh, it's also just, it can represent um, the metaphorical shift in your life. Um, and the energy. So I'm really feeling that really clearly. I'm feeling that the next step when you get there is going to, you're going to feel so much clearer. So this is now about healing the heaviness away. Um, so um, see the truth in the situation. Okay, the beginning might feel challenging, but that's how we grow our wings and that's when we get to fly and we learn our lessons. So don't give up. Protect anything that you start to create and that comes into your life and above all else, believe in yourself. There is much um, alchemy and magic in um, creating your dreams, so you're asked to do that and put positive thought into it. Okay, um, open your heart not only to receive but also your heart and mind to anybody around you and any opportunities that come your way. Just stay open, there might be different opportunities which I'm seeing as these little objects floating around. Um, and also take some trustworthy or heartfelt advice if you can um, do some kind of charity work or helping others as well, even in a small way as well. And um, there will be news of an exciting new endeavor. So, um, you know, so be confident, be out there, be the outgoing, um, creative um, sort of more free expressive um, part of you needs to emerge um, outwards so this is about you also being original and unique and I feel like you need to know you are unique and to be and you will be accepted you might not have been accepted so much in the past and I really feel the tears like crying with that so um, I really want to encourage you also to keep that in um, in your mind for the future Okay, so I want to turn things around to back to positivity again. So you have transformation indicated. Um, this is you packing up your bags and moving forward. That's that heavy old shift uh, thing you're shifting away. And this is the light and the wings of the what you're moving into. You're moving into a period of more fertility. I'm feeling your stomach, your solar plexus area, so you have to get back into your sense of power and intuition and belief in yourself. And this is about seeing with your heart right now. That's what they're telling me, to see with your heart, to believe, have faith, and it will grow like these beautiful leaves branching outwards 